Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today we're going to look at the strange contrast paint, Ball Red, that doesn't really act like a contrast paint. But let's see what she can do. Contrast paints are generally transparent paints whose brightness and hue are determined by the primer below them. Now, Ball Red is transparent, but at first glance, on a miniature, it doesn't look like a contrast paint at all, because it doesn't actually create shadows like Flesh Tears Red create shadows or Blood Angels Red create shadows. It is clearly a fluid, pigment-heavy bright red paint, and it is ideal for covering a surface with an even more opaque layer of paint you can easily put a second layer of bottle red over the first layer after it has dried and you will have a beautiful solid color. It's the same sort of thing over a metallic paint though. The red is barely transparent, though what is left of the metal does remind me of nearly dried blood, so that's always an option. Well, since it is unique among the contrast paints as not giving much contrast, there may be a couple others that I will get to in future videos. What can I do with Ball Red? The first thing I decide to try is the wings of this chaotic beast from Warcry. I did another one some time ago when I was experimenting with Flesh Terror's Red. I knew that Ball Red by itself would just be too flat a paint, but I thought the mix of the two would be great. I covered this fellow's wings entirely with a single layer of ball red, and on one of the wings, while the ball red is still wet, I wet blend in some flesh tears red. I had a feeling that it would be better to wait and let the ball red dry before putting the flesh tear red on, but I wanted to know for certain, and I was right. The flesh tears red is the right hue, so it could make a great shadow for the ball red, but it is best when painted onto dry ball red because of course the two blend such that it's rather hard to tell them apart. They are so similar when blended together on the same model. So on the left wing, which I had planned to from the beginning, I applied Flesh Tears Red after the ball red had dried and that gave me more control of where to put the shadows. But after looking at both of them I realized that this red wing could use even more shadow. So I look at it throughout the contrast paints and find the new Sigvold Burgundy might just be the color for the job. I try it over the wings, and I find that this is the right color. It too seems to want to have at least the flesh tears red dry before applying it. Only on something as textured as this though, I would imagine on something flat, wet blending would definitely be the way to go. I really like the three of them together. I guess you could take out the Flesh Tears Red and just use Sigvold Burgundy with Ball Red and the middle ground just being a mix of the two, but I like the three of them and I think that's how I would choose to do it. So this Space Marine Reaver was done in a dark blue grey and then I put a cream and white highlight over top. Uh, he's been this way for a while so I don't quite remember the exact paints I used, but anyway this is what he looks like. I want to show you multiple things on this model, so pay close attention because there are multiple points where you could stop depending on what you're looking for. First, I use Azerman Blue to bring out the shadows to make them brighter and remove some of the white because I want the white to be mostly a highlight and I want more shadows than highlights. This blue is really nice for a shadow in the dark, as you'll see particularly if you have red as it's a contrasting color on the other side. So with these two, with Ball Red and Azerman Blue, you can do a very nice red alert lighting on your model. I don't want to leave it there on this model, as good as it looks. I'm going to make this model entirely red. I'd use the blue ultimately as a shadow for the red. When I use Zenithal Highlighting, I prefer to avoid black as the shadow and instead use a cold color, a colder color than what I originally used. Mm, probably as opposite a cold as I like. Green could be used, but I wanted to go even colder and chose blue. I think the shadows are more realistic that way if what's inside them actually started off as some other color than black. 
And there he is. I just painted his base black and uh, his gun black with the new black Legion contrast paint to give you a better idea of what he might look like. If you don't have an airbrush and want to use ball red over a larger surface area, then I would say go ahead and grab a round dry brush, very soft bristles, a whole lot of bristles is what you're looking for and round is better for this purpose and uh, in circles, in tight little circles, I think you'd be able to create a very nice even coat on a larger flat surface um, with the ball red because the ball red really seems to want to do that to make a nice flat color. I'm actually super thrilled with this ball red flush terrors red Sigvald, Sigvald uh, burgundy combination for cloaks. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! The ball red is not quite the same as Mephiston red. So Mephiston red and Evil Sun Scarlet. It's that one. And, and then ball red. The Mephiston red is very slightly more orange. Hmm, maybe, maybe for my titans, my Admac titans. Bye bye. Okay, bye.